Hello viewers, welcome to my channel of biotechnology, tutorial and research lab. I am Associate Professor Dr. Sharif Hussain. Today my topic is very interesting. Like bioelectricity, bioelectricity generation from fruit bio waste derived bioethanol as renewable energy. You can see here different type of bio waste from fruits. It can be done also from vegetables. So this is the Harambutan fruit waste. This is mango peels. This is mango stream. Mango stream the fruit waste, this is rotten mango or mango waste, this is grapes waste, this is jackfruit waste. So we can produce bioethanol from this type of waste, fruit waste. A title, the detailed title of my Lecture is fruit bio waste derived bioethanol productions and bioelectricity generations as renewable energy. Importance of bioenergy and bioethanol. As alternative energy fuel like biodiesel bioethanol is currently becoming an important issue all over the world. Global warming is being increased mainly by the conversion of the petroleum which needs to be reduced excessive engine emissions different types of gases like nitrous oxide carbon dioxide carbon monoxide hydrocarbon is one of the factors to increase greenhouse greenhouse gas as well as global warming biofuel is one of the significant components to reduce greenhouse gases Hussein et al 2008, Hosanna Fazlini, 2010, Hosanna 2011, Debris, 2008. Bioethanol is biodegradable, non-toxic and does not, doesn't cause environmental pollutions if split. Hosanna et 2010. Bioethanol is usually obtained from the conversion of the carbon-based fed stocks like agricultural waste fed stocks are considered renewable because they get energy from the sun using photosynthesis. Sun etal 2011. Sugar based fruit, rambutan, dates, grapes and also others are the most famous and highly fruits grown in tropical areas countries such as Malaysia, Saudi Arabia and other Asian countries and have been very popular. There are many advantages of biofuels as energy sources. Firstly, biofuels are the considered as carbon neutral. This is because of the carbon dioxide the release when burnt is equal to the amount that the plants absorb. Therefore, they don't contribute to global warming. And for the same reason, biofuels are less polluting than fossil fuels. Biofuels increases farm incomes, reduces energy cost and promotes further rural developments while pleasing the environmental community and offering job in rural areas. Production of biofuels replaces the usage of high prices petroleum, lot of fruit waste causing some environmental problems or pollutions in waste management and they they have no economic value sign at 2009 that's why this this fruit has been chosen for the experiment therefore this study was investigated to produce by fuel as bioethanol from waste rambutan fruit biomasses as non-food materials which can be an attempt to reduce the emissions bio waste and bio and pollutions caused by food bio waste materials. 
the objectives of the research was undertaken to produce bioethanol fuel accessibly from West Rambutan fruits. We used here only Rambutan fruits. In other experiment, we used also mango fruits waste, pineapple fruits waste, apple fruit, uh, fruit waste, and also uh, banana fruit waste, others. To determine the optimization of bioethanol produced and to make the to observe the power in generating electricity using bioethanol based fuel cell. So materials and methods we can see here raw materials collections rotten by Rambutan's fruits are obtained from the commercial open market. In Malaysia, the fruit selected included those having physical defects as as well as the unsold rotten fruits, the microorganisms employed for commercial, commercial dry yeast. Actually, my MSc student, uh, student did this work in Malaysia under my supervision. Pre fermentation treatment of samples. Yeah, the Rambutans and the Rambutans waste collected from uh, collected were washed under the running tap water for five minutes to remove dust and reduce the number of the cont contaminating organisms. Then, particularly fungus, which normally grow on the skin of the rotten fruits, after washing the this is called the Rambutan or a peel using fruit peeler. The remaining pulp was cut and chopped into small pieces and then ground until it became liquidified. Then the The, the fruit mash was used for subsequent for fermentation process. Rehydration of yeast. Before adding to the fruit mash for fermentation, the dried yeast was dehydrated, rehydrated to recover its activity and viability. The hydration process was done by adding clean filters taps water to the yeast at 37 degrees centigrade to 40 degrees for 15 minutes. The rehydrated yeast was used immediately after the hydration process. Let's go to see what kind of enzymes we used. Okay, now enzymes we used like cellulase, cellulase enzyme. This is the Sigma Aldis. We collected it from Sigma Aldis company. Then the cellular enzyme catalyzed the hydrolysis of the endo 14 beta D glycoside. It linkage in the cellulose. Then lecithin, barely glucans, and the cellular lignosaccharides to cellulohexan. Uh, so as well as leaving intact glycosaminoglycan from a core peptide by hydrolyzing the xylose serine linkage. So this is the um, uh, this is called the chemical information of cellulose. Then we use the alpha alpha amylase. Amylase is an enzyme that catalyzes the breakdown of starch and sugar. Amylase derived right from the Aspergillus niger. So then we use the yeast Saccharomyces cerevisiae. Yeast strain are used in this research. Commercial, commercial uh, Becker's yeast as Saccharomyces cerevisiae type 2. Purchased from the Sigma Aldis company. So 
in all experiments, commercial makers yeast was used except for fermentation experiment using different yeast strain that are used both commercial makers. Yeast step two. Then fermentation parameters, temperature. The temperature involved 28, 30, 35 degree centigrade. The fermentation method was the same method uh, stated below. Incubation times one day, two day, and three days. Different interval time. The time of incubation was to be for one day, 24 hours, two days, 48 hours, and three days, 72 hours. The fermentation method was the same method mentioned as below. Time of incubation was the only factor to be changed. Then different pH. The pH was 4, 5, and 6 were used. The fermentation method was the same method stated below. Different enzyme concentration, yeast, amylase, and cellulose. cellulase. And the different uh, three types of enzyme we used here are uh, used in this fermentation. The fermentation method also the same. Then fermentation is a series of chemical reactions. What is fermentation? We can uh, see this. This is also called fermentation technology. Fermentation is a series of chemical reactions that convert sugars to ethanol. From sugars to ethanol. The fermentation reaction is caused by yeast or bacteria which feed on the sugars. Ethanol and carbon dioxide are produced as the sugar is consumed. The simplified fermentation reaction equation for the carbon sugar or the glucose is C6H12O6 CH3CH2OH plus carbon dioxide. This means glucose to ethanol plus carbon dioxide. This is the uh, mechanism of fermentation. Fermentation was done by using yeast sacrifice celibacy blended rambutan, then poured into 500 ml scott bottle. It was incubated at 30 degree for two hours, two days. We have to, you can see, all for all parameters except different temperature parameters. After two days, samples were taken out from the incubator and filtered with clean folded cheese cloth and filtered then filter paper. Figure two, you can see the filtration. For all experiments, the rambutan samples were taken out from the incubator. They were filled, filtered by pouring the samples into a beaker with filter paper. What when grade number one for a certain time? The total soluble solid and the pH value of the filtered after filter after fermentation were measured. Then bioethanol separations. After filtered, bioethanol was separate, separated from water and other liquid by vacuum evaporator at 70 degrees centigrade. Glucose determination by GCFID. The ground samples was filtered and extracted by evaporated to dryness using a total evaporator uh, with different uh, properties, maintaining different properties. This is the properties temperature, yeast content, and also others. Column. Uh, contains nitrogen and also uh, nitrogen. Then this is the sample preparations we can see here. The usually 100 uh, microliters of the biothermal samples are mixed with others. This is called the uh, the sample was diluted to the 500 microliters with the uh, three tons. This is the sample preparations for the, uh, the GC. And this uh, FID test, gas chromatography properties. We use the uh, gas chromatography. Usually, uh, it can be used uh, gas chromatography. So the inducted foot of the chromatograph was installed with, with a uh, glass uh, liner, appropriate for spirit analysis to prevent the contamination of the GC columns. And also different uh, properties here, different attributes called the uh, different conditions, temperature and then others others and column temperatures and also uh, nitrogen carrier others then viscosity acid, acid value analysis with viscosity and acid value how much it is uh, discussed then we did it in malaysia and then also acid will also we uh, whether it is under the ASTM standard or not we have checked chemical element analysis from biathlon we will analyze the chemical elements by the multi or element oil analyzer spectrometry tribology laboratory faculty of engineering in western malaya malaysia we use this then bioelectricity bioelectricity determination using fuel cell 
by frequency was determined representing millivolt this one millivolt versus time time using bioethanol uh, based fuel cell the bioenergy kits and the horizon renewable energy kits it's called horizon fuel cell technology we used here the different types of and this is the uh, we can see later the uh, the biology bioenergy kits here we used this one and the, with different uh, samples ethanol uh, the different concentration of ethanol of different volume of the ethanol and samples and controls then we will uh, then we measured and then we uh, see the result then we then the professional biothermal yield was the uh, waste rambutan was carried out at two days having a ps5 at 30 degrees centigrade uh, with four uh, gram per uh, data is concentration for rotten conditions there also different this is the best one we, we achieved and then different and the enzymatic reaction we, uh, we see that with enzymatic hydrolysis yeast was more effective than than amylase and cellulase for producing ethanol so ethanol we got the uh, yeast one the best uh, ethanol glucose was reduced uh, after fermentation in case of one to three days different types of days because due to the sugar the glucose was broken down and converted to the bioethanol so in, if then we measure the voltage decreased higher incubation time increase in bioethanol based on fuel cell yes, yeah. we can see the different types of the fuel cell uh, we generate the energy from the fuel cells so here we can see different types of the uh, enzyme concentrations and chemical analysis with uh, ferrous lead uh, silicon copper phosphorus calcium different because uh, our ferry stock means that our samples may contain this type of uh, uh, this type of the uh, dangerous uh, this is called the what uh, uh, chemical or metal there's a for that there is a silicon and then lead a uh, copper it is under uh, standard or not to see that uh, the metal we have to, we have done the test then viscosity and acid you know tested we tested viscosity and acid balloon and we got the good result so now we can see here some image of the picture rambutan by mass rotten uh, in this experiment already we discussed uh, this one rambutan field uh, seed and pulp we will use this one and the different types of the uh, mechanism by the production process rotten rambutan see this rotten rambutans and then in the blender this is the blender after blender then ps measurement this is the ph measurement and then uh, before fermentation this is before fermentation this is after fermentation process and then fermentation process the filtration process and this is the filtration process and then and this is the bioethanol yield we got the bioethanol yield different types of bioethanol yield during filtration and the fuel cell this is called the fuel cell this is fuel cells will be uh, for bioelectricity bio generation this is the fan blade fan and this is the energy sources and this is the uh, bioethanol uh, uh, box there is a box of bioethanol tube bioethanol based fuel cell and electricity produced from rambutans and then we got the electricity this is the uh, bioethanol energy flow chart just sample then uh, free treatment fermentation filtration and then we can see here uh, after filtration bioethanol productions there, there is a uh, temperature uh, water level uh, also duration ps is different types of uh, conditions and then by the produce methyl metal analysis fuel consumption test and then uh, greenhouse gas emission test for, for the fuel cell test and finally by electricity uh, generation from bioethanol then this is also bioethanol produce of bioethanol generations we see the fan, uh, the fan is running this is the bioethanol we use this bioethanol uh, instead of uh, ethanol instead of ethanol ethanol is controlled and this is the bioethanol then this you see here the fan is running energy uh, and then we can see here different types of yield one day second day third day second day it was the highest uh, temperature also 30 degree temperature it was the highest then uh, ps5 it was the highest then different of yield also we can see yeast amylase cellulose uh, in yeast it was the highest and then we can see here bioethanol yield at different uh, enzymes different is the different enzymes and then here bioethanol conversion peak uh, uh, around 90% bioethanol produced 
so you can see by the conversion around 97 percent the highest then uh, glucose the viscosity also the you can see here yeah, the highest one is uh, one is means the day first day uh, second and third day then this viscosity also this is the standard acid will also under standard stm the chemical analysis uh, this is copper lead rust silicon phosphorus calcium it is under ASTM standard american standard for testing and materials it should be 0 to 5 so ppm here you can see the bioelectricity generation voltage and mini voltage and different 100 percent ethanol and the 100 percent bioethanol 50 percent bioethanol 30 percent bioethanol 20 percent bioethanol 100 percent uh, dish water the difference then we can see the voltage different type of voltage and then uh, using bioethanol in fuel cell and different uh, ethanol and bioethanol percent it means concentration so uh, finally we can see here by uh, generation by voltage and rpms different types of voltage Average voltage we can see here, the highest voltage in uh, ethanol, and then biethanol also the highest in ethanol, but uh, in biethanol also we got the voltage, the good voltage, and then um, the ethanol in water there is zero, and uh, fan uh, rotate rotation of the fan, you can see here RPM, uh, it is all automatically from the from the meter we got it, so here biethanol uh, ethanol 100% uh, ethanol, and uh, then we use the biethanol. By by ethanol in uh, generation uh, electricity generation or uh, what electricity was generated so the discussion already we done this the discussion the highest electricity electricity production voltage uh, millivolt was found in the samples of 100 percent ethanol and then 100 percent by ethanol and then uh, ethanol say 7.5 ml and then uh, in 30 percent ethanol and 20 percent ethanol and so this is the our results the, finally we can say we have succeeded our project and we got the result very good result so from the experiment it can be concluded that bison can be produced from the western Bhutan as a substrate and save for the energy generations and it does not contain any unwanted metal wanted metal elements the premium bison found at 30 degrees centigrade for two days from addition and ps5 from from Bhutan biomass bioelectricity was generated successfully by using ethanol based fuel cell from biomass that is why it can be for you know, fruit that produced by ethanol you know, from west and Bhutan for fruit biomass was a good quality which which generated by electricity using fuel cell this is the innovative work acknowledgements this is the way acknowledge for funding of the uh, university of malaya then this is the references of the uh, scientist and um, our paper also many paper also we published here uh, american journal of biochemistry and biotechnology african journal of uh, microbiology and then African Journal of you know, uh, different types of uh, books also published on bioconversion and bioprocess process in Germany. Uh, as just uh, the, it can be found as a chapter in the books. So this is all about our uh, result. So this is the, the very innovative and very innovative work in the world. Uh, so so this is the very important uh, for us. Uh, biology production from the West. Thank you very much for the uh, for listening and watching and subscribing our channel, and especially for the students those uh, for who are studying about biotechnology, especially environmental industrial biotechnology, it is most important for them to 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 be attached attached with our channel to get the new information, new or innovative uh, research work uh, for, to use that uh, in their study. So this is most important. Thank you very much.